Let's talk about my new program downloads available on our website. So I've transitioned to the private sector and I've really kind of revamped my approach to physical training over the last oh, eight, 10 months. And it's indicative of the way that I'm training my current clients, my athletes, whether they're here with us in the gym or remotely. And as with anything else in coaching, you're always trying to organize and create good workflow from uh, an administration perspective. So as I was building out my templates on my computer, I realized I was really close to having some finished products that could be available um, through our site. So I went a little deeper and, and built out a various number of approaches for, for various different goals. And they're indicative of all the current training methods that I'm currently using. Now, you know, whether it be you know, training collegiate athletes over you know, collegiate and professional athletes over the course of 20, 20 years as a strength and conditioning coach, like the program can change significantly. The way I was able to write up and train athletes in 2006 versus how I trained them in 2012 was drastically different. And you know, one coaching stop in 2012 to a new venture in 2018, that was different. And now we're kind of at this next step where it's 2021 and you know, we've continued, I've continued to evolve as a coach. And you know, the programs are reflective in that. So you've got a, a bunch of different tracks, different goals and objectives. Now I've talked about this in the past. I really despise from a coach's perspective the concept of working out, right? Working out is this mindless activity that anybody can go do, right? Um, and something is always better than nothing. But in terms of performance and athletic development, there has to be a plan and there has to be a goal and there has to be a map. And that's what training is to me. And that's why I put the work in with our training programs, right? So, so there's a couple of different tracks that you can choose in our program design concepts. The first one is our hypertrophy track, which is just improving the size of muscle, trying to add muscle. Right? So improving the ability or improving the cross-sectional area of our muscles. So the sets and the reps and the intensities that we choose within that program will be dedicated towards improving that goal. Right? Uh, absolute strength. So building as much strength as we can without accounting for body weight. Right? So irrespective of the body weight. Relative strength, which is my personal favorite, is gaining strength per unit of body weight. So if we want to be more conscious of not increasing size but increasing strength, then you choose your intensities, your sets, and your reps to be indicative of that training goal of looking to build as much strength as you can without affecting your overall mass. Okay, and then power, right? Once we have adequate strength, the prerequisite levels of strength, now we can focus on a program that's designed to improve our power. So decrease the amount of time we can display that strength, okay? So those are four main tracks. We have a balance track, which will take you through each one of those training goals. So we work from hypertrophy, to absolute strength, to relative strength, and then through power. We do that over the course of an annual cycle. That's where the bundles come in. You could bundle these programs and get a full 48 weeks. 
at a cost savings or you can, you can plug away 12 weeks at a time. Uh, two standalone programs, uh, only 12 weeks, I believe that's all we really need is a, is a 12 week uh, macro for fat loss, which I've talked about on some of our social, my social media posts. Uh, if you look back earlier in 2021, earlier in the year, uh, my training was kind of designed around the German body comp program and I've used some of those techniques or program design concepts uh, that I was personally using in this program. It's a 12 week program. And then there's a tactical program. We've been able to help, I've been able to help uh, quite a number of guys prepare for selection, whether it's fire department, law enforcement, or, or military. And that program is geared toward, a 12 week program geared to prepare a candidate for selection going into some type of physical screening test. So what's included in these training program downloads? So it's a PDF packet that after checkout, you will get immediately emailed to you. Uh, you've got an intro letter. There is a calendar that shows you what days to do what workouts. And then each 12 week program, so each program is 12 weeks, and each program contains four mesocycles, four three week mesocycles, okay? And within those four three week mesocycles, you train four times a week on every program, and those mesocycles alternate between accumulation phases and intensification phases, which I've talked about in the past. So varying the training stimulus between driving volume and then driving load, driving intensity. And over the big picture, over the long term, if you can consistently undulate between the two, um, you'll, you'll increase your ability to avoid plateaus and it gets stale. Each mesocycle is broken up into four training days. And each of those days consists of warm-ups, your strength training movements, and then your regen at the end of every session. Each of those categories are hyperlinks, which bring you to exercise demonstration videos. And within those exercise demonstration videos, we've made them, and they have all the coaching points you need for, for each of those movements. So, essential details, most common mistakes, safety tips, and bonus tips. Uh, the regen will be written on the screen and there's a, there's a guide in terms of how to go about the, the post stretch, the regen, you know, whatever may, may be called for uh, specific to that session that day. I think these programs are ideal for anyone looking to break out of the normal training rut, uh, someone looking for some guidance and some new ideas and um, just to create change, right? The best training program is the one you're not on, right? as, as they say. So I also think that there's a, a need in the strength and conditioning community to continue to learn and continue to evolve and to not, or break out of the mold of training your own biases. So. Um, I kind of already said it early on in the, in the video that you know I've evolved quite a bit in my approach to training over the years. There was an evolution that occurred based on what I knew, uh, what I needed to learn to apply my coaching style to that specific sport, that specific team, that team's needs. Uh, and the way you do that is by constantly learning from other coaches and. Uh, Utilizing some of the program design concepts that I have here can potentially help coaches in their own training and then ultimately in the training of their athletes. Take a look. Let me know if you have any questions. I look forward to hearing from you.